Yes. But wait, there's more. I'm Ted Patrick Baird, and this is the day in the life of an Amazon delivery driver. My shift starts at 6.50 in the morning. After grabbing the keys and cell phone from a dispatcher, I perform a vehicle inspection. I give the van a quick wipe down because most of them are hella grimy. At 7 a.m. I drive from the parking lot to the staging area outside the warehouse. This is where I will wait until the yard marshal gives us the green light to enter. So I just logged into the Flex app. I have 149 stops with 250 packages to deliver. The Amazon warehouse employees have been working overnight to prepare the totes which contains the customer's packages. These totes are assigned to a route and placed outside of the warehouse for pickup. Each delivery driver locates their cart according to their route number. We scan all of our totes to make sure we account for all the packages assigned to our route for the day. We are given 15 minutes to load our van. I got my van organized now. All the totes are on the right hand side and these are going to contain smaller envelope plastic bags and smaller boxes and anything that doesn't fit in these totes on the right hand side go on the left hand side this is the oversized the oversized packages are crucial to organize because shuffling through 30 plus boxes at each stop will slow you down i put my stops that i know are going to be first in my day up front and then as i get towards the end of my day i go towards the back just finished organizing my packages for my first few stops that way i'll be super quick and be able to get a good head start on the day Fui -o. Fui -o. Once every van is finished, we exit as a team and head to our first stop. Head east on 71st Street Northeast. To disable that annoying audio, you wiggle on your screen, then this bottom bar will pop up. You click the audio icon, and now that annoying voice will be muted. It's 9 a.m. Pacific time. You know what that means. Here we go on a Monday live and If you don't know who Colin Cowherd is, go onto YouTube, type in Colin Cowherd, Kobe Bryant tribute. He does one of the best segments in modern sports casting history, honoring the late Kobe Bryant the Monday after he tragically passed away. Drake? Around 10 a.m. I'll take my first 15 minute break. We get two paid 15 minute breaks and one unpaid 30 minute lunch. Uh, which one, which one? Oh yeah, that one. Amazon drivers don't work for Amazon. We work for a delivery service provider known as a DSP. This is an independent company contracted by Amazon to drive Amazon branded vehicles and deliver Amazon packages. Our DSP assigns a few drivers to complete rescue routes. Rescue drivers aren't assigned a route in the morning. They drive an empty van and pick up extra totes from drivers who are assigned too many packages. Rescue drivers usually finish by 2 p.m. at the latest. What's up, bro? You pronounce your name Messiah or Messiah? 
No, yeah, you got it right. Messiah? Yeah. Okay, People cool, cool, cool. Get it right. Bro, I'm Catholic, so I was like, I don't know if I can call you Messiah. <laughs> Around 12 p.m., I'll take my lunch. Today, I'm eating a homemade toasted turkey and cheddar sandwich on sourdough bread. So, you may be asking yourself, what qualifications do I need for this prestigious job? Do I need a CDL? No. Do I need a clean driving history? Are you kidding me? Do I need good package delivery form? Definitely not. All you need, my friends, is that thing over there. A liberal arts degree. For a $100,000 investment to a university fronting as a real estate conglomerate, you too can drive for Amazon and make $19.50 an hour while eating chicken McNuggets on your lunch break. How you doing, man? Hey, how are you? Get my steps in. I see that, I see that. <laughs> nice. Have a good one. Yeah. Here are the pros of driving for Amazon. Time is your most valuable asset. Amazon drivers only work four days a week, which is incredible. It allows you an extra day to spend with your family, work on a side hustle, or just relax. The job is flexible and easy to get time off. Delivering for Amazon keeps you active. In our training, we were called athletes, and I thought this was an overstatement. I was walking over 15,000 steps a day, which equated to over seven miles. The biggest plus about this job is the independence. You are on the road by yourself for eight plus hours. There is little micromanaging. You are left to your thoughts, which gave me the opportunity to come up with creative concepts and video ideas. You can listen to music, audiobooks, podcasts, or even learn a language from today's video sponsor, Duolingo. Duol you have 355 subscribers. The dollar store won't even sponsor you. Have you heard of Manifesting, The Secret, Bob Proctor? Go to your research. Work days go by quickly. You get the opportunity to see beautiful landscapes ranging from million dollar houses to breathtaking vistas. What are the cons of driving for Amazon? Just like filming on the top of your parents' house to increase viewer retention, there are cons for driving for Amazon. Every DSP operates differently, but my DSP only guaranteed 36 hours a week. I was not working full time and OT was rarely available. I was scheduled for four nine and a half hour shifts, including a 30 minute lunch break. Communication with my DSP was poor. Depending on which supervisor you asked, you would always get a different answer. I tried getting more information on my healthcare benefits. They said I would receive an email three months after my start date. That email never came. To improve driver safety, Amazon installed cameras inside of their vans. There are four lenses, one facing the driver, another facing the road, and two on either side to provide 270 degrees of coverage. The camera triggers an audio alert when the driver isn't wearing a seatbelt, speeding, not stopping completely at a stop sign, and other types of unwanted behaviors. The creepy part is, these cameras are always recording you while the van is on. 50 pound bags of dog food. It's always people in apartments on the third floor who place these orders. It's true though. Yeah, I know, it is. The weather can be a challenge. I don't mind the rain, snow, or cold temperatures. If it's cold or wet, once you get moving, you'll warm up. The heat is a killer because you can't escape it. Even in 60 degree weather, the back of the van can feel like an oven. I couldn't imagine doing this job in Texas. Overall, the positives outweigh the negative. This is a good buffer job to help provide stable income while you look for a higher paying job. Once I finish my route and get clearance from my dispatcher, I can head back to the station. Even if I only work seven hours, I'll still get paid for nine hours. This gives me an incentive to work efficiently. I'll drop my empty totes at the warehouse along with any packages I couldn't deliver. I'll park the van where I picked it up in the morning and drop off my keys. That wraps up my day as an Amazon delivery driver.
Are you ready to deliver some smiles? Thank you guys so much for watching this video. This video took over two months of production. So please drop a like, hit the subscribe button and comment your favorite part on the video. Until next time, peace. Relax, it's Yellow Gatorade. <laughs>